As you can tell by the title, one of the places we're going to check out is the smallest Catholic church in Texas. But first, while we was making it to our location, we first stopped at St. Mary's Catholic Church in Hallisburg, close to I-90, south of Schollenberg, between Shiner and Hallisburg. Either way, there's not much information about this church. One of the things I did find was a placard that was provided by the Texas State Historical Survey Committee. And basically what it says is that St. Mary's Parish considered the oldest rural Catholic parish in Texas. St. Mary was so settled be before the Texas War for Independence by such pioneers as James Brown, who was killed in the seas of the Alamo. First church edifice for St. Mary was built in 1840 under influence of missionary fathers George Hayden and Edward A. Clark, who also opened schools for the settlement. This was one of the 10 churches compromising Texas first diocese, Galveston, at its formation in 1847. Many priests and sisters' vocations have come from this historical parish. So this church has been there since 1840, and it's very historical, very nice, and you could tell that it's been there for a while. Once we explore the Church of St. Mary's Catholic Church in Hallettesville, we made our way to LaGrange in Fayette County, close to Round Top, to go see the historical world's smallest Catholic church. It was interesting to find some history about this Church of St. Martin in Wharton, Texas. This is what I found. By 1886, a large number of Catholic families were living in and around Wharton, Texas. The priests from nearby Fayetteville organized a congregation and visited saying mass in private homes. In 1888, Frederick and Helen Spies sold one acre of land to a Catholic bishop on which a church and cemetery were to be built. Within a year, a large building was built and named St. Martin. The church flourished by 1915. Most of the Catholics in the area have moved away. There was the need to build a school in Fayetteville and the Catholic bishop granted permission to demolish St. Martin's church so that the lumber could be used to build the school. When the school was completed, there was enough lumber left over to build a small chapel at the original site of St. Martin's Church. The building is 14 foot 3 inches by 18 foot 1 inch and is now known as the smallest Catholic church in the world. It contains many of the fixtures including the altar and tabernacle and statues from the original church. There are 12 wooden pews. Mass is held once a year on Souls Day. Some of the early settlers and church members are buried in the nearby cemetery. St. Martin Church is located off of Highway 237 in Warrington. It is open to visitors and is worth the stop. A couple of reviews that I found say, We are so glad we stopped and visited this small little church on our way to Round Top. Another one says, If you are interested in old churches, then of course stop at this little gym. Thank you. 